Yo, what's going on guys? This is AntiCR7 here, and today I'm bringing you guys my 150th video special where I'm presenting to you guys a 91 and 6 domination gameplay here on Mission, where a friend of mine, DC5 Rapage, is actually using the PP90 M1, and he's a part of this try commentary that we're doing here today with another really good friend, Skits8. Now, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? What's up, YouTube? Yes, it's DC5 Rapage, and we're doing this try comment. It's on my channel, it's on Skits8's channel, it's on Anthony's channel, and we're gonna get this done, aren't we, boys? Would you like to introduce yourself, Skits? <laughs> yeah, good night, guys. Um, firstly, I'd just like to thank you two for having me on, because I really do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, pretty much my name's Skits8, and I'm also an Aussie commentator, and uh, just like you two guys, I also make gaming videos of various types, so, um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And after the 800th time of trying to do this commentary, hopefully it works out. <laughs> but in today's um, try commentary, I really wanted to talk about Black Ops 2, and that's going to be um, the main topic of this try com. And now, DC, why don't you give your um, first, I guess, perspective right. on it? So, first of all, my wish list of Black Ops 2 would be for a sort of like a nerf on Ghost, like not make it so powerful, even though Blackbird did counter that. But also, I want to get on the topic of maps. So, map design, like Black Ops. Firing range was absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah. it definitely was. The maps was. in Black Ops was really good because they actually made a difference between like there was lots of big maps, so lots of small maps, so lots of medium-sized maps. With Modern Warfare 3, there aren't that many big maps, big open maps, and that's what I really didn't like about Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I'm just basically hoping that it's going to be an overall balanced game, weapons-wise, maps-wise, and just the whole spawn overlapping shit that's occurring in Modern yeah. Warfare 3. I hope they just check that out and. It's really, it'd be really smart if they um, introduced a, uh, I guess you could say, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 beta before it actually gets released. It would actually give the public um, I, no, an, a chance an idea to, of the game, I guess. And yeah, they can, and, and just a chance for us to like test out what's wrong with it and stuff like that. But the main thing that I want to see is gun balancement, because for me that's like what screws up a lot of COD games. And if you think about it, COD 4 is the best game, and since then they've just been screwing it up just because of like, they've been trying to make it really complex, and I just liked COD 4 because it was simple. Um, but in terms of like sniping, what do you guys want to see from off it? Oh, sorry, from Black Ops 2. Do you guys want to make it so that you can quick scope or just hard sniping or what? Yeah, I think they should definitely keep quick scoping. It's a part of like I guess Call of Duty. You can't just take out a huge piece of it because I guess the whole Call of Duty community really loves quick scoping. And definitely Black Ops took a bit of extra skill to quick scope, but I do think mm. they should um keep um quick scoping for Black Ops 2. Yeah, Black Ops. I think Black Ops got sniping right, like. The sniper didn't come up too quick, like in Modern Warfare 3. Like, I would shoot some guy with a with a shotgun to the face like three times. It would turn on me on his ten sensitivity and quick scope me. Like, <laughs> how realistic yeah, is that? Yeah, shotguns for me is the next thing that I really, really want to see from um from Black Ops 2. The Spaz 12 from Modern Warfare 2 was a bit overpowered as a secondary, but if they pretty much brought that gun and made it pretty much the same, except in Black Ops 2, um, they just need to have good, yeah, primary shotguns and just really good ones. Because for me, shotguns are the funnest way of playing um, COD, so mm. I just that's want what, good shotguns. That's what it? keeps the game fresh for me. Like in Modern Warfare 3, shotguns definitely keep the game fresh for me. Like, I don't know, they're just really fun to use, takes a bit more skill. Hopefully in back, Black Ops, that's portrayed back into, you know, skillful gun use, like, you know, more gun-on-gun -gun action, which is, you know, that's generally what we want. We don't want to be running yeah. around with FMG9s all, all day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Call of Duty 4 was, like, the best Call of Duty, in my opinion. It was totally balanced. The weapons were great. The kill streaks were not um, too complex. And as you know, Modern Warfare 2 and World at War, um, they, I don't know if World at War, no, they kept the basic kill streak except for dogs. And, um, but um, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops and whatever, they all introduced um, the higher killstreaks and made it all complex. But Call of Duty 4 was the whole simple um, UAV, airstrike, and helicopter. And once you got that helicopter, you felt like the king of Call of Duty. And <laughs> yeah. You get yeah. the attack helicopter in Modern Warfare 3, you get shot down in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I really want to say, I know this isn't exactly multiplayer, but the zombies. Because for me, I love zombies. It's like one of my favorite things to do on Black Ops. And I just really want them to bring it back and to make it as good as how it is in Black Ops because uh, Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops, what do you guys think of it? Because I personally thought it kind of sucked and I really want to see a good um, like offline equivalent to online. Yeah, I seriously haven't even tried out Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops. I haven't even touched the campaign. Like I I've haven't touched. even had time, so DC, yeah. you can probably give your perspective on Spec Ops. Well, like, I've played Spec Ops, right? So i played Spec Ops pretty much just to get this um, title, like it's called Unstoppable. I'll reach Wave 15 in every single map or whatever. It's not as good as Zombies, like it doesn't have that feel to it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, and same with combat training, I love that from Black Ops that as well. Was, that was to... great. It's good for yeah. noobs, noobs should be chucked into that, not given like Dead Man's Hand and oh, stuff like Dead that. Oh, Dead Man's no. Hand. Dude, it's so <laughs> underpowered, they need to make it like 
so that like it nukes the whole map when no, they die. No, seriously, you've got to love running around on a salt kill streak when you're on like one from a Moab and you're on a salt and it bam, fucking dead man hand takes you out. Yeah, it's like the javelin glitch from Warfare 2. It's, it's just the like best ridiculous. feeling, dude. It's the best feeling. You got to love that shit. They well, should have like a, a Moab for um death streaks. They oh, need yeah. it, yeah. on a 25 death streak, you get a bomb, it blows everyone up. I think... they, need to, they need to patch things in Black Ops 2 as well. Like, if there's something that's retarded like Dead Man's Hand, they need to just patch it, because, seriously, Monfair 3, they just need to put in a few patches and the game's going to be mm. perfect. So that's something that Treyarch gets right, man. They they listen to the community, they actually... Yeah. So, like, if you guys have suggestions, leave them in the comments and stuff, like, what you guys would like to see, and, you know, even hit um, David Vonderhart, I think it is, up on Twitter, and, you know, hopefully we can get this done, get the game that we want. <laughs> Enjoy, have that little warm, fuzzy feeling inside and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Just like Xtraws' recent video where he um, asked everyone to tweet at Robert Bowling to um, fix the Modern Warfare 3 spawn. So definitely, if you want to see and you want to put your perspective and you want to put your opinion into Black Ops 2, go tweet at David Vonderhart, I think it is. If you have a Twitter account, don't. I mean, if you don't have one, just go make one. It takes a few seconds and you can tweet and that's the closest thing you can get to putting your opinion in the game, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, they, they need to listen to that community more. Like, whatever we want is generally what the game... If, if whatever we want is generally what the game will make good, if you know what I mean. But like saying it's... that, um, we sort of contradicted ourselves for Modern Warfare 3, because everyone was like, oh, I'm sick of these big maps, blah, blah, blah. We got lots of small maps, and the air support on it is absolutely shite. Yeah, to be honest, I'd like more, like, map variety in Black Ops 2. Like, Modern Warfare 3 doesn't have that much map variety. I want mm. lots of different maps. Like, maps like Wasteland, where it's just really open... And it's just like really fun to play with and snipers and stuff like that. all centered and stuff like that. Maybe yeah. some new game modes, because, I don't know, Modern Warfare 3 got it right with new game modes like Kill Confirm, that's so much fun. I know, Anti, you play that all the time. Yeah, that's like the majority, like 90% yeah. of what I play, Kill Confirm. He knows all my Moabs, except for but like dude, one or two. Kill Confirm's from Crisis anyway. I mean, yeah, is it Crisis or something like that? They didn't uh, even, I'm uh. um, sorry, not Crisis, um, what was it? That new FPS game. They stole it from another game, so it wasn't even from uh, mm, Infinity But West. I like Drop Zone and um, Team Defender and stuff like that. They're pretty sick. Yeah, well, I don't know if they should actually um, int introduce... Do you think uh, Do you think they should introduce new map match types into Black Ops 2, or...? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, War. They should bring War back. Yes, War would game. be good. What's I'll War? Tell you what would... What's War? Uh, it was from COD 5. It was like a little bit like... Um, like a bomb Drop in zone. the middle, yeah? Yeah. And you have to go to it and stuff. Yeah, but what I would like to see again? Wager matches. Oh, oh my yeah. Gosh, God, one in the yeah. chamber, sticks and stones. <sighs> yeah, they need to add that jizz, and with, jizz, bro. <laughs> yeah, from that stuff and like infected and all that stuff from Warfare Three. They just need to have lots of like different variety into Black Ops Two, and I'd make it a good game. Hmm, definitely, definitely. But besides that, just like um, Xtraws tweeted, and it's got actually four zero two. Who is Robert Bowling, the head of Modern Warfare Three? Has reported <clears throat> Robert trolling. Yeah, yeah, my bad, Robert trolling. But um. Yeah, you definitely should go and tweet out and like leave your comments in, this, in the comment section below on what you would like to see in Black Ops 2. Everybody wants to put their opinion in. Just comment below and hopefully we can um, send some of your opinions over to David Vonderhart and a few tweets if I get bothered. Yeah, but besides that, I don't know guys, like what else is there to talk about I guess? Uh, maybe COD Elite? Um, New well, maps and stuff coming to MW3? Ah uh, yeah, well... Um, the whole PlayStation dilemma shouldn't we shouldn't really be trolling against that, but it's obviously slightly unfair, I guess, because Xbox um gets it first, even though we do pay for Call of Duty Elite, I guess. Yeah, well, dude, I didn't even buy Cod Elite. Cause I didn't get bought into that shit. Like, I heard about it before the game was released. And I knew it was going to be stupid and like a big rip off, and you know what? I never Cod bought it. Cod Elite, it's it's okay if you want clans and you can win like you can win stuff, you can join events, you can do like things. It makes it a bit more interesting, which I sort guess called so it's a good idea. It keeps it fresh. A little bit but yeah i don't know it, i guess i'm guessing it would be in mw uh, in black ops 2 but i don't know hopefully they do something better with it, it doesn't yeah. have that like you know everyone's gonna want to buy it like the only reason you buy is for the dlc and you know ps3 is getting it late anyway so what's really the point you know yeah but besides yeah. that i don't know i don't know if cod elite's gonna be a part of black ops 2 but Nevertheless, the gameplay is wrapping up, guys, and um, this has been my 150th video try commentary with DC5 Rapage and Skid Say. I want to thank you guys so much for being a part of this video. You guys can, um, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, no worries, man. I want to thank all you guys for coming on my channel as well, and definitely go sub us all up, me, uh, Skid Say, and Anti CR7. Do all that nice YouTube shit, like the videos, and yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you guys later. Thanks, peace.